Hello everybody. Now 2024 is just a few months away. This year was absolutely crazy, you know, with AI dominating the news everywhere. Everywhere you go, it was just AI and tech layoffs were happening like crazy. So many people lost their jobs, so many from software engineering, big tech, everybody like uh, there was a lot of layoffs in the industry. But cyber security was still a good career choice, you know, and cloud security is one specialization that remains strong. I mean, if you just check out the latest reports, the cloud computing market is still going strong. OK, more and more companies are migrating to the cloud, mainly because of the advantages that it provides. And, and another reason why the cloud computing market is going strong is, of course, because of AI. AI is getting like a, it is expected to you can just take a look at uh, what a billion dollar industry it is expected to be by 2030, right? And there's no stopping it. It's like growing like crazy every year. Every single company and every single government wants to adopt AI in one form or another. But AI needs a huge amount of processing power and storage. And this is where the cloud comes in. So if AI is the future, then cloud is the backbone on which this future is being built, okay? Because the most companies will not be doing these things in-house, okay? So that's why the cloud and cloud computing is a safe bet because the cloud is which is where the most of the AI systems are going to be hosted. OK, but the while the demand for cloud security professionals is strong, like it can all become confusing, right? Where do you start? What to do? Which certification to do? How to start? A lot of people reach out to me because they don't understand how to start their cloud security career. So this is the reason for this, the cloud security career path for 2024, which I've made. The whole point of this video is to show you what are the parts available and how to go about it, right? How to start your career. And if you're new here, please do like and subscribe to this channel. My name is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Okay, the first step which you have to do absolutely, which is choose a cloud platform. Don't make the mistake which a lot of people do and they jump directly into certification, okay? You need to be hands-on with the cloud and its security services. That's why you need to find a cloud platform, okay? Why? Because this is where you will be doing getting hands on, deploying infrastructure, doing all those other sort of stuff, right? So you need to choose a cloud platform. Do this before, not after. OK, not after you've done a certification or something like that. Make a conscious decision which cloud platform you want to hone your skills on. Now, there are many, many choices available, right? Like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, uh, Azure, IBM Cloud, Oracle. Each of them have their own security features and services. And most of them, which you're going to talk about, they give you free, free tier sandboxes, free subscriptions for a limited amount of time. I would recommend AWS is it's the most popular of the cloud providers. If you want to choose a provider, choose AWS. And like, because uh, first of all, it is the most popular. So most companies are using it. I also work there. So I maybe I'm a bit biased <laughs> for choosing AWS, but just telling you. So you can choose whichever if you're more comfortable with Google, go with Google or Azure. OK, so once you've decided now you want to create a cloud sandbox, OK, because this is where you'll be actually getting hands on with the cloud. OK, so like I said, AWS, uh, they provide a free tier, right? And once you, I want you to go there, go just Google AWS free tier and create a free account. OK, remember, guys, you do not learn about cloud security by just reading books or watching courses. You need to get your hands dirty with how it works. OK, so sign up for a fiat account. Uh, you have there with AWS, you have there with Google. I think give you, Google gives you uh, $300, I think. And uh, same with Azure. I think Azure gives you, Microsoft gives you $200. But whatever, it doesn't matter. You can go with AWS, you can go with Google, you can go with Azure. Okay. Now, now that you have, once you've done this, so you will have now a free sandbox within which you can play around with. The third step and very, very important is to learn infrastructure as code. This is a major thing which a lot of cloud computing professions I know they bypass and it becomes a problem. So don't just go to the cloud and start clicking on the management console and pressing buttons, right? There is no skip from infrastructure as code in the cloud. It is one of the most basic skills you need. So basically you define infrastructure in code templates and that gets processed and then it conver it's converted into actual infrastructure, right? Like server, like network. There are some amazing, amazing free tutorials present. Like there's one from uh, Terraform, which you can go there and uh, uh, you can just go there and start provisioning infrastructure. I want you to go there, start create, a, create like a simple server, create a simple network, create a simple security group. Just get familiar with infrastructure as code. 
this is a very very important skill and a lot of times i've seen that people they don't know infrastructure as code and it becomes a huge problem okay this is the uh, a free tutorial already present from terraform terraform if you're not aware the, the they are the most uh, like they are familiar with uh, they are the ones who made uh, infrastructure as code very very common okay just go to their website just uh, type in terraform tutorial they have tutorials completely free for every single cloud infrastructure that is there though i'm not asking you to go and like become like an expert on this just uh, deploy simple simple infrastructure like a server like a network and see how it works okay now by now you should have a be comfortable with the little bit with the cloud environment right whether it's aws or azure or google you should know how to navigate the console so then uh, and you should know by now how to spin up infrastructure using infrastructure as code so now what i want you to do guys is to conduct a cloud security assessment now this is not something you do manually right this is not like people do on prem that they have a checklist and uh, no there there are many many free tools available and one of the absolute best tools which are available is aws prowler prowler is a completely open source security tool you can use it for aws google cloud azure and it it performs hundreds and hundreds of checks it covers all the best practices like cis nist okay and most of the best frameworks it will give you output in html csv it's a very very powerful tool i have a complete video on this and i'll link it here okay this is like a diagram showing so like i said like i said it supports everything it supports aws on all the major uh, providers it it covers i think aws azure and google are supported and really you won't believe how much you'll understand just by running prowler and looking at the report so because it will make you very very confident within the cloud and how it works okay so now you have a cloud simple sandbox you know how to spin up infrastructure as code and how to do a cloud security assessment so now you want to what you want to do is get certified in cloud security now you can do this step parallel uh, as you are learning the cloud okay nothing stopping you but this is the mistake which people make is they jump directly to this step and don't do this please okay so when you are in talking about cloud security certifications they can be provider specific or provider agnostic provider specific means it's focused on the platform like aws azure google cloud right and agnostic ones are like the ccsk and the ccsp this is where i would recommend you start okay because these ones they teach you concepts they don't focus on the specific platform and these concepts you can apply to any platform out there okay so it will make you very very confident with the concepts like the shared responsibility model concept like what are the different cloud models how they work and everything okay so really it comes down to the ccsk or the ccsp now the ccsk is a beginner level cert okay it's it is for people who don't know about the cloud and want to gain knowledge it covers the cloud uh, different models and it's a great way to enter the field if you're interested in starting a career in cloud security the ccsp is a intermediate to advanced level cert so this one validates your knowledge across the six domains and like i said this is this is for people who have a good knowledge of cyber security on cloud if you are new to the cloud do not start with the ccsp i i have already made a video comparing the two certifications i'll link it here and i'll be making a detailed video about the cloud security certifications okay but this is what you want to decide at this stage and lastly now by now you've started your certification you've gotten hands on now what you want to do is understand cloud security roles before you go start applying this is important to know before you start applying for jobs as it helps you to know what types of roles are suited for you some of the most common cloud security roles which are there now that would be the cloud security engineer this is a guy who focuses on the day to day running of the cloud right and you are supposed to know all the security controls so usually you work with the different cyber security teams to make sure the controls are working logs are going to the siem firewall the web application firewall everything on the cloud it is configured right like if you're in aws you would be responsible for making sure security hub and guard duty are working okay and then above apart from that above that would be something called the cloud security architect this is a more specialized role and it requires more experience in cloud security uh, i would not advise somebody if you are new to the cloud to be like applying for cloud security architects because you are supposed to be a subject matter expert you need hands on experience things like threat modeling you should be able to present these findings right so you should have things like the ccsp and a cloud platform certification like aws or azure and later on you can become a consultant you can become a head of cloud security right and the last role i want to show you is something the cloud security consultant which is what i am 
This is what I do in AWS. Now the cloud security consultant is more of a customer facing role. It's very similar to the cloud security architect, but it is more advisory and customer facing. So you can work closely with customers and guide them on the security journey. And of course, you're supposed to be a subject matter expert, right? So you have to know presentation skills, the ability to communicate your findings, right? And you can set up your own business. You can later on move to another company and become a head of cloud security. So this is the areas, uh, the, uh, the parts I wanted to tell you about, guys. If you are serious about starting cloud security in 2024, these are the steps I would recommend you follow. You can st you, you can follow your own path, but this is what I would advise for somebody who is completely new to the cloud or somebody who is transitioning from an existing job into the cloud. These are the steps I would recommend you do. And you can look at my channel. I have lots of other videos on CCSP and the certifications. So I hope this was useful to you. Good luck on your cloud security career. I hope 2024 is an absolutely awesome year for you. And I hope you smash your career goals. Thank you very much. And uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video if you found it useful. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.